G'day guys, Dave from West Oz RC and welcome back to the channel and I have got some exciting news guys, my tyres for the infraction are in. So these are the bad boys that I've been waiting for for so long, um, a lot of testing has been done but these are slightly different to what I did originally, these are a moulded tyre whereas the original ones were uh, machined from a rubber slug. What I've also done guys is I've got rid of the um, Hoon rims but I've got these Mac 10s from Proline. These are the rims that I bought. Uh, these are the part number if you guys are looking for getting these. The extra work that you've got to do to them to prepare them for these rims is you've got to grind these two ribs off the rim. And I'll show you how to do them in a sec. But I did prepare this one and I have glued these two guys. Um, so that's already done. Now I'm doing two types of gluing. Now what I've done with these two here was I've done the slide motion on those. So I've got this glue here. It's a pretty good super glue. It's Loctite and it's called an all plastics because this stuff here, I've done a bit of research on this too. And the best way to um, glue rubber to plastic is cyanoacrylate. And this has got like more than 90% as you can see there of the stuff. It's got a primer and it's got your glue. I'm giving these a go. I'm hoping that they'll hold a tires to the rim now the way I've done these is I have glued all the way around the rim and I've slid it down like that while it's wet and I found what's happening is all the glue is pretty much pushed up here and by the time it gets to the bottom there's not a lot of glue left on the rim so it does pop off a little bit so this one here is a prime example um, I did glue this one down um, but you, you work your fingers around the edge and you find and you can see right there that it's still sort of popping off there. I'm going to put a little bit more in there and glue that down. It's really paramount, guys, that you glue the edges really well because if they lift while you're spitting them up, you get like a flat spot on the, on the tyre. So it's really important to glue them down. Now, I've thought of another way of gluing them. And that is to, yes, I know it's a bit of sacrilege, but I'm going to cut them. And because they're already rolled like that, I think the better way to glue them is to put the rim on the bench. You glue about three and a half spokes, put that much like edge to edge. You just run it over there with your, with your, with your fingers and then you put it down and then you run the, the tire on the edge and you hold those three and a half uh, spoke areas you hold that down then you just peel that back do another little bit of gluing hold that bit down there and then all the way till you get to the end and then what you do make sure that when you cut them you cut them on an angle like that so that you can put some glue on the edge and then when they come together you just push them like that and you just hold them in place and that should hold really really well so Let's get into it. I'm going to show you how to glue these up now. So, yeah, let's do it. So the first thing you want to do is grab some 180 um, sandpaper. And you can see on the inside of this tie here, they're pretty shiny. Grab some isopropyl. Put on a bit of a rag. Clean the inside of the tie like that. You grab your sandpaper. And you just run... The sandpaper across the surface like that. You get your paper towel again, put some isopropyl on it, wipe off the rubber that's on the inside that you just scoured off. And there we go, it's nice and scoured up. So that's a good prep surface for gluing onto the plastic rims. I'm going to show you now how to prep the the rim. So I'm just using a battery powered uh, grinder and we're going to be grinding off those ribs there. And there you have it guys. So what I've done is I've also ground off the center piece which is really shiny. It's just a better surface for the glue to glue onto. Right so once we've cleaned that all up, hit your isopropyl again and we'll just get rid of any um, plastics that you don't want on there. Give the edges a little bit of a, uh, a sand also with a bit of the uh, 180, just on the edges. And you should have a rim that looks like that. The next thing is we use the primer 
of the glue, the first stage of the glue. And all we do is we go around the whole rim. You do the same on the tire. And then the last place you want to do is this one here, straight across that face there. So you'll glue that part first, so that when you come around this way, that'll that'll push on nice and strongly. Okay, let's start gluing. We'll start from the hole, which is halfway through. And I'm just gonna go across like this. That is all glued on there nicely. There we go. That one's all done. So I personally think that that's a better way to glue them, like face on, so it peels over, rather than sliding the rim down the tire and having it wipe off all the way down. So there we have it, guys. That is that done. That one. That one and that one. So, all right. Let's have a crack on the road and let's get out there. All right, guys, so here we are at this truck stop. This place is pretty awesome. I've got my Z8000 100C there. I've got 7200ADC and my a couple of Ovonix uh, 6100C. These are the ones that I run in my Mojave. Also, bring yourself a backup glue just in case the tire starts to break off the edge. So you can sort of, you know, patch glue them. If you just keep onto the glue, guys, it will hold up really, really well. Go through a little bit of mods that I've done to the, the body. Um, I've vented the bonnet and I've also cut the windows on the side so that the air can get inside. M makes it look like the windows are uh, just a quarter open. Looks pretty cool, I reckon. All right, let's have a crack at this one. I reckon those rims look pretty cool. Oh, I'm gonna bring her in. Let's have a look and see if these tires have started to break away. Now let's have a look at this. It's looking pretty good. These are the ones that I cut. Um, the, the, the cuts are still pretty good. They're holding on really well. And the backs are doing pretty good too. I reckon I'm comfortable getting probably 15 packs out of this, out of these tires. Cause I'm gonna measure them once I get home and see how much after four after four packs. Look at that. It's freaking awesome. These tires, I don't know guys, I reckon they're pretty cool. Look at it coming up here. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, sorry Dolph. Wow. Oops. And she's off again. Oh, nice. Whiz, I think we've hit LVC already. All right, well, that's the first pack. Let's have a look at the temp. We're only at 49 degrees C, and Fahrenheit, it's only 116. Man, these oh, they are brilliant. It's only at 42, 38 Fahrenheit, 107. Excellent. Hi, right, guys, so pack. Number two, these are the Z7200 ADC. Let's uh, see how these go. LVC on the 7200s, guys. Let me know in the comments below how bad your hoons would be after two packs on this type of, I'm just gonna show you a bit of a close up of this surface. Have a look at that stuff. It's like, 
It's crazy. Rough. Look at those tyres, guys. That is awesome. Absolutely brilliant. All right, let's get the third pack in. Okay, guys, third pack. Ivonic 6100C Dual 3S. Now, guys, if you're enjoying the content and you like the channel, please feel free to subscribe. I'd really appreciate the support. Now, these tyres are going to be up on eBay. I will put them up on eBay. Um, I'll have a link in the description below. Let's have a crack on these ones. Right, so let me check these tyres now. This is the third pack. Yeah, wow, that, okay, so you can see how the rubber's starting to pull off there. Now that's the time that we go and glue them down because it's starting to split there. So you've got to catch that before that happens, guys, and you'll have lots of happy days with these, with these tyres. Fronts are holding up really, really well. Okay, so there's a little bit of let go there. And let's have a look at the rear here. A little bit of let go there. Just look how much rubbers there's left. It's crazy. All right, let's go glue these down. Let's grab your super glue. Even shove it right in there like that. And get that glue right in there. I'm really ecstatic how these are running at the moment. Um, I think these are absolutely the go to stop you spending a ton of cash. That looks really glued on there really well. So because it split on this side, I need to check under here also. Nope, that's holding on really well in there. Ah, oh, just hit LVC. All right, guys, here we go. Fourth pack. All the three packs are there. One, two, three, as you can see, they're all done. There's another 6,000 Ivonix 100C packs in there. That is insane. Oh, LVC. So let's have a look and see how, how she's run. Look at those tire guys. And these are the ones that I joined, right? That's the joint. It's still hanging on. Unbelievable. Look at that. Still hanging on. And this is the tire that I glued just before. Look how good this is. Look at that glue, guys. Mate, you're not gonna get that stuff off at all. But look how much rubber is left. That's four packs. Look at that. All right. So let's go home. Gonna get checking the uh, diameter of these. And let's see how they look after this run. Okay, guys, we're back in the garage. I've given the truck a bit of a clean up. Um, I've even painted the rear spoiler. I hated the clear. You could see all the crap in there. I reckon the black looks a lot better. Matches the wheels, matches the roll bar. And uh, yeah, I reckon that looks pretty sick. Right, so let's have a look and see how good these tires have lasted. So from the manufacturer, they've started 100 millimeters in diameter. I'm sure you guys all know that. So. Going to get a set of verniers. I'm going to zero it out. Here we go. Let's have a look and see how much they've run out. They've run down after four packs. Nine 
98.0, so 99 mil. So one millimeter after four packs, that's ridiculous. Front, 99.7, like, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> uh, yeah. Look guys, I know you're probably gonna think this is a lot of work, you know, to do to get these ties onto the rims. Choose your own way of, of bonding them to the rims. Look at the chunks that have come off the tires from the surface that I was running on. Any tire, even a car tire will do this. This is pure rubber, guys. It's going to do that. The last, the longevity is what I've gone for. So I reckon that these are a fantastic um, tire for any infraction or limitless that you guys want to run. These are the rims again. They're the Mac 10s from Proline. They look absolutely brilliant. I love them. I love the look on the truck. Um, so let me know what you guys think. I want to thank all my subscribers and everyone who's followed me on this little project. It's been a year. It's been a lot of work. Um, testing here, testing there. Finding the right manufacturer for them. Finding the right material. I think I've found the right material. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty rugged stuff. Like I said again, thanks guys so much for sticking with me. Um, they are now available. I will put them up on eBay for sale. Um, the link will be at the bottom in the comments. So again, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And please like, subscribe and share if you've got mates or friends that, that um, have infractions that don't know about my channel, please share it and let them know that there is a solid tyre alternative to the hoons or the grps or whatever tires they're using they are heavier um, they will load up your motor just a little bit more i do recommend getting these rc rocket fans guys um, they have kept the motor so cool today and also the esc you saw how well it ran it, it's been an absolute treat honestly thanks again guys for the views like and subscribe share and we'll see you on the next one cheers <laughs>